What's up guys? Parts came in. I ordered me some brake shoes from where everybody else ordered them, Rock Auto. Ordered me a new ignition switch. We're fixing to go try to put that one in. And then I went and picked up locally from AutoZone the wheel cylinders. O'Reilly said they had them. Then I went to go pick them up and they didn't, couldn't find them. So let's go put in a new ignition switch. Yeah. See? Brand new. Two keys. Yay. Let's go put these in. What I've been told, you stick the key in there. If you can get it to work, that's one reason I'm replacing the ignition switch. Get it turned. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to st stick this in there before you turn it or after you turn it. And now i got to find the hole. And I think my belling wire is too big to go in the hole. All right, hang on a second. Let me see if this belling wire go in there or not. So I went and got me a paper clip. And I poked it in the deal. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put, poke it in before you turn it or after you turn it. And now my key's hole. And you go to the on position in the 67. And then you just pull. So they say. I might have to use both hands. But. So they say. You push that pin in. And pull. But my key's moving quite a bit. Because ignition. Yeah, yeah I might have to use both hands. Hang on. Hey guys. Uh, it's officially Sunday. And last thing I saw is I was trying to get that ignition out of this 67. Well, the key was so worn that I couldn't get it to pull out. So I decided to drill it out. And I got it out. But I don't know. Let me see if I can't get in some better light. Yeah, you can see that pretty good right there. There's that pin that you had to push, push to get that out and I nicked it with the drill bit now it won't uh, allow the new new key cylinder to fit in there so I ordered one of these next day air and I'm kind of glad that all this happened anyway this is kind of a blessing uh, a lot of these terminals had a lot of burnt burnt spots on them so it probably wouldn't be long before that went out and left me stranded. Um, so I got one of those ordered next day. I did get, man, the light in here sucks. Uh, I did get this drum done. The brakes are new, new wheel cylinder, everything on this done. But I got to order, like I said, I got to order one of these housings and it's on its way. So, it'll be here Tuesday, according to the deal. I overpaid for overnight shipping. I got to get this pickup where I can move it. One, to test the brakes. And two, I'm hoping Wednesday I might be able to run out to the junkyard and get me the stuff I need to fix that. But today, I'm going to try to jack this thing up. Try to get this side of the brakes done. I'll show you some, show you some of that, how those look. It, those were down to metal. These are probably are too. I know that wheel cylinder was leaking, but this one probably is leaking too. I did get that side bled. They're working good. You can hear them go tink, tink, tink inside the drum. So let me get busy and I'll get back with you. Guys, uh, if you ever have a sticky, sticky drum, this hammer right here works great. You hit it three or four or five times, should break the rust loose. Uh, if you don't have a hub puller, it's the next best thing. Just don't hit it too hard because you can crack the drum. So I'm going to give it a couple whacks. Well, guys, this drum was a little harder to get off. Um, and I figured out why. I don't know how well y'all can see that. But I need a drum. There's no way that I'm going to put this drum back on this truck. In the center of that eight. Into the center of this pad. After I get all this broke apart. 
And I'm going to try to get the wheel cylinder in here today at least. Um, I got to go back to the internet and order more parts. <sighs> this is the part of the getting in one back on the road and road ready that's just a pain in the butt. You don't want to buy this stuff locally because you pay about a third or two thirds more than what you can if you order it online because of the convenience of being in town and I doubt they even have that in town. So, and then I got to order these clips right here. I broke those trying to get that off. So I guess I'm going to spend more money on the internet today. That sucks. Let me get all this off and I'll show you these brake pads. All right, guys. I'll show you something that irritates me to no end. Let me get out in the sun. See that? See how it's, I hope y'all can see that in the camera. See how it's like that? It's thinner in the middle than it is on the outside edges. That's because somebody did not replace the drum when the last time they did the brakes. It wore on the inside, the outside was higher. I don't think I can get this turned. I think it's gonna be under the minimum thickness, definitely down here. I don't know, I guess I can take it and go ask them, but I'm pretty sure it's underneath the minimum thickness already. So I'm gonna just probably order one. But that area takes me to no end. Um, other than making sure you don't have no bad oil leaks that could leak on your exhaust manifolds and cause a fire, no gas leaks. Uh, brakes are the number one, in my opinion, the number one most important safety issue you got. I mean, if somebody pulls out in front of you or anything, I mean, brakes are important. And it just drives me insane how people half-ass do the brakes. And I'm part of my French, but they go, some, some people go in there and say, well, my car's not stopping good after I change my brakes. Well, you know, your rotor's glazed. Your drum is eaten up all the way. It's, you're only using, you know, an inch of the two inches of brake pad. I mean, if I put that drum back on there, yes, I could run it and I'd be fine for a long time because I don't plan on putting a whole ton of miles on this pickup. But it shortens the brake pad life shoe on this, in this particular, it shortens the brake shoe life. Uh, you don't get the full benefits of full braking power and I don't know about y'all but in this day and age by George I want my brakes to work because these people are idiots <laughs> I hate to say it but the way they drive man I want my brakes to work um this wheel cylinder wasn't leaking I'm just afraid that I couldn't ever get that bleeder open so in my opinion it's best I'm putting on new shoes I'm right here I already got the new wheel cylinder in. This side's ready to go, but I, yeah, it is leaking. Well, no, it's leak. It was leaking somewhere. Yeah, see, it's leaking. So, nine dollars. Do not have a any kind of a mechanical issue later down the road. So I got to go in the house and order more parts. Like I said, I have the housing coming for the ignition switch. It should be here Wednesday when it's warm. And I can put it in and get the truck to start. I'm trying to think what else. Um, I got four weeks left to get this ready for the Christmas light tour that I want to go on. I'm fast running out of time. The weather is, of course, when I decided to set a goal and try to get something done, uh, the weather is not cooperative. I run into stupid issues like this drum. That drum should have been replaced. Oh, uh, which caused me.